And now it's time for Amazing Discoveries with your host, Kipper. Join us as we learn the secrets of modern technology. Here we go then. Is that better? as we explore the wonders of outer space. And help us as we go in search of mysterious animals. Straight down the slide and straight into the box. Yeah. yeah! As an added bonus, you'll also witness firsthand the effects Whee! of gravity in action. Whee! That's all the time we have for today's discoveries. To learn more about these and other adventures, look for Amazing Discoveries, starring Kipper the dog. Now on home video from your friends at Hit Entertainment. It's a beautiful day for play as Coach Bob the Builder and his machines are gearing up for the big game. Whoa, watch out. This is the builder's yard, not a tennis court. Looks like assistant coach Wendy is hard at work with the machines in their pre-game workout. Come on, everybody. Let's get started. It appears as if Coach Bob is ready to kick things off as his team members take their positions. I mix it. I spread it. And I roll it. <laughs> like this. And there they go as they waste no time in making sure the big game will be one of the best videos ever. Oh, wow. The cheerleader certainly has plenty of spirit. <laughs> The action here just never lets up. <laughs> Anyone for tennis? Ooh, nice catch, Bob. As you can see, the big game is non-stop big time fun. Catch Bob the Builder in the big game. Now on home video from Hit Entertainment. It's a wonderful, wonderful world. Hey, 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 hey. This pirate dancing fun. It's a quacky, wacky world. Well, blow me down. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Well, that's all right, Mark. But you know, you shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said what? Well, blow me down. Ah! <laughs> It's a flimsical, whimsical world. Won't you blow me down? And most of all, it's a wiggly, wiggly world. It's the wiggles, it's the wiggles, dancing with their friends. It's the wiggles, it's the wiggles, fun will never end. Dance along too. Now that everybody's here, that'll be so easy. That'll be so easy. That'll be so easy to do. It's a wiggly, wiggly world. Look for it on home video from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare for departure. Today we'll be exploring the wide world of wheels, motion, and transportation. You all have your seatbelts fastened nice and tight. Your tour guide today will be Barney the Dinosaur. Here we go! 
So if everyone's ready, let's get things rolling. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Oh, and here we are, Pop Wheelie's wonderful wheel factory. Our tour begins at Pop Wheelie's, where you can browse through an incredible selection of wheels. When you look around, you find wheels showing up in the most surprising places. Moving right along, we'll continue our tour on foot. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful? Yeah. You know, walking is a very good way of getting from here to there. <laughs> Along the way, we ask that you please observe all safety precautions. <laughs> Next up, see the world by train. <laughs> Followed by a ride in a covered wagon. Well, if we're going to have horses and a wagon, then we'd better have these. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you don't happen to have an airplane out there, do you? And no tour would be complete without flying high through the big blue skies. With Barney as your guide, the wheels of fun are turning. Well, as soon as you're all ready, we'll and where the fun times. stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Now on home video from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Tina. You were good. Thanks. You were all having so much fun, I just had to join in. Actually, picking up trash isn't the most fun thing to do, Barney. Oh? But we're doing our best by cleaning up the earth. Oh, that's good. Hi, everyone. Hi, oh, Barney. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, what happened to your eye? Oh, it's okay. Someone accidentally hit me when we were playing basketball. No oh, big deal. Does it hurt? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> What's with the trash bag? We were getting ready to tell Barney about that. It's Earth Week at our school, so we picked up all the litter on the playground. Well, it sure looks beautiful. All nice and clean. I guess it was worth it. Sure, and it didn't take long because we shared the work. Hey, tell me about Earth Week, Tina. What is it? All the classes study about the Earth and ways to take care of it. Oh. Where are you going, Michael? My teacher said to leave this trash bag in a classroom for the custodian to pick up tonight. I know, let's see Earth Week projects they've started inside. Come on, Great right idea. <laughs> Look at all the pictures about the Earth. Oh, and Min painted this one about animals that live in the woods. It's good. Here's a book about things kids can do to help save our Earth. Barney, why is studying about the Earth so important? Because it's the only world we have, Derek. It's our home. And we don't want to waste things we use that belong to the Earth. Like the air we breathe, the water we drink, the land, and trees, and grass, and birds, and animals. We want to keep the Earth clean and green. Will you help protect the Earth and keep it clean? Yes, we will! Will you help protect the Earth and keep it green? Yes, we will! Then the 
time has come to start. Let's begin to do our part. And we'll all protect the earth and keep it green. Yes, we will. All together now, group. Here we go. Then the time has come to start. Let's begin to do our part. And we'll all protect the earth and keep it green. Yes, we will! <laughs> Barney, we can keep the earth clean by not littering. That's right, Tina. We should never throw trash on the ground. Right. We should always put trash in a bag like this or a waste basket or barrel. But we also need to learn not to throw everything in the trash. What do you mean, Lucy? Well, we're throwing so much away that we're running out of places to put all the trash. That's right, Lucy. I'll bet some of the Earth's treasures are about to be thrown out in that bag. Treasures in that trash? I know what Barney means. This can is made of aluminum. And paper is made from trees. Mm -hmm. We can save aluminum and even trees just like the one in the playground by recycling these. What's recycling? Well, recycling is where you use something over again or make something new out of something old. We can make new bottles, cans, and paper out of the old ones instead of throwing them away. Mm -hmm. I bet I could reuse this bottle. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> Very good. See, I made a really neat sound. Hey, that gives me an idea for some fun and music. Now, here's what we'll do. Gather around, oh, everybody. So okay. okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Silly Symphony will play the Blue Danube Waltz. <clears throat> was a simply stupendous silly symphony. Congratulate yourselves. Oh, no, thank you. No, 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 thank you. Why, why by all means, thank you. Oh, no, no, I insist, thank you. Those sounds were very silly, but I've got a song that's even sillier. Even sillier? Oh, I'm gonna have to hear this one. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, what have you made, Tina? As long as we're singing silly songs, I thought I'd use some old newspaper to make something for us to wear. Three corner hats? Yep. <laughs> Is there a silly song about three corner hats? Here, I'll teach it to you. Oh, a new song, a new song. Oh, boy, I love a new song. <laughs> okay, here are the hand motions. When I sing the word hat, point to your hat. Okay. When I sing the word three, hold up three fingers. When I sing the word corners, bend your elbow and point to it. <laughs> okay, watch me do it the first time. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Now you do it with me. Okay. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. This time leave out the word hat. <laughs> my Tina, thanks for teaching it to us. Thanks, Barney. I thought you'd like it. Do you know what I'm going to do with my paper hat when I don't want it anymore? No, what? I'm going to recycle it with other newspapers. That way I'll help to save a tree. Oh, good, <laughs> Tina. You know, reusing cans, bottles, and newspapers is just one of the ways we can help save the Earth. Let's all take turns acting out different ways we can save the Earth, and the others will try to guess what we're doing. Okay, okay. that's okay. a good idea. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, what's Tina doing? She's brushing her teeth, and she's turning off the water. Uh -huh. She's brushing her teeth and turning the water off. Hmm. I get it. She's saving water by turning it off while she's brushing her teeth. Oh. Right, Derek? Oh, boy. Oh. Hey, let's brush and rock, okay? Oh. Let's take a look. Guess what I'm doing? Hmm. Um, 
Well, it looks like Lucy's putting groceries away in the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. That's all that I see. I don't... Huh? Oh, I know. She's saving energy by not holding the refrigerator door open for a very long time. That's Ooh. right, Michael, but you missed something. Oh, what's that, Lucy? I'm saving trees by carrying my groceries home in a cloth bag. I can use it over and over again. Oh, good that's idea. That's that's great. Great. That's that's good. Good. Hmm, let's see. Uh-oh, I don't think I can guess this one. How are you and Derek helping the Earth, Michael? Instead of throwing away old toys and clothes we don't want anymore, we're giving them to children who don't have any. Oh, that's oh, twice as nice. That's nice. Caring for the Earth and sharing with others. That's a great <laughs> idea. Oh, that's a idea. I liked all your ideas about saving the Earth, too. Thanks. I hear a lot about smog and pollution hurting the Earth. But what are smog and pollution? Well, they're like the smoke from cars and factories that can make our air dirty. Uh-huh. But I don't see any dirt in the air. But it's there, Tina. Watch this. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna get this paper towel here. Ooh, okay. And I'm gonna wipe it on the table. Okay. Well, it's gonna, you'll see. Watch this. Okay. Hmm. See? This dust came from tiny bits of smoke and dirt in the air. How can we make the air cleaner? Well, we could walk or ride our bikes instead of asking our parents to drive us everywhere. Mm -hmm. I see. We'd be helping to make the air cleaner because cars pollute the air. Right. And the cleaner the air, the better we see the stars and the moon at night, or a sunrise or sunset, in all the beautiful colors of a rainbow. <laughs> to see there's red orange and yellow green blue and purple and it's curved like this you see somebody told me that a rainbow has a pot oh, of gold on. at the end i don't really know if that's so but it's kind of fun to pretend and if you look real close at these paintings and your imagination, I bet you'll see that pot of gold. Simple and beautiful a rainbow, pretty, pretty for the eyes, eyes to see. see. There's red, orange, and yellow, green, blue, and, and purple, and, and it's curved like this, you see. Somebody told me that a rainbow has, has a pot, pot of, of gold, gold at the end. Mm. I don't really know. <laughs> it's nice to see pretty rainbows in clean air, isn't it, Barney? It sure is, Tina. And protecting the Earth is a job we all have to share. Look at how much of the Earth is covered in all this blue water. Ooh. And we want to help keep it clean, too. Mm -hmm. If oil is spilled in the ocean or a river, the water can look like this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's yeah. Just think what our fish would think if we poured that into their aquarium. Oh, but yuck, we do have to protect our water. And don't forget about our animal friends. That's right. Some animals are endangered. That means that there aren't very many of them left on the earth. And if we're not careful, they may be all gone someday. Oh no, which animals are endangered? I'll show you, Tina. Okay. Whales are endangered. Uh -huh. And elephants? and lions, and the rhinoceros, and gorillas, and sea turtles, and tigers, and even the bald eagle. And there aren't many panda bears left on Earth. Oh, I don't want us to lose any animal friends, Barney. 
Even the ones in the meadow. <laughs> well, I know you all know the song called Over in the Meadow. Everybody pretend you're the animals in the song, okay? Oh boy, froggies and fishies hopping and swimming everywhere. <laughs> Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother, I croak, said the one, so they croaked and they croaked in the sand, in the sun. <laughs> Over in the meadow, in the stream so blue, lived an old mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two, so they swam and they swam in the stream so blue. Swim, fishy, swim! <laughs> Over in the meadow on a branch of a tree lived an old mother bird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three, so they sang and they sang on the branch of a tree. <laughs> Birdies everywhere. <laughs> Barney, how can we help animal families like the ones in the song? Well, you can make a birdhouse or a bird feeder or even a bird bath for them to splash in. <laughs> and lots of animals live in trees. You could plant trees for them at home or in city parks or even here at school. That's <laughs> right, because we all promise to help protect our earth and keep it clean and green. Mm -hmm. And this class is already learning about growing plants and trees. See how their seedlings are sprouting? Hey, Barney, I know a story of the most famous tree planter in history. Oh? Would you like for us to do a play about him for you? Oh, that would be terrific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I'll meet you guys after... <laughs> and now, the after school players proudly present da -da 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 -da! the story of Johnny Appleseed. Yay! <laughs> <clears throat> the story of Johnny Appleseed. Yay! Yay! Oh, there he is. Yay! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a boy named Johnny Appleseed who loved everything about apple trees. He would sit under his apple tree all day, and his friends would often ask him to come and play. Hey, Johnny, you want to play some ball today? No, I'd rather sit here under this apple tree. Okay. So he would sit in the shade of his apple tree, and he would listen to the birds sing, the crickets chirp, and the squirrels chatter. Johnny Appleseed, would you like to come in the house and eat some cookies that I bake for you? No, thanks, Greeny. I'd rather have a healthy snack like this apple. And I'm happy to enjoy nature under this apple tree. <laughs> oh, Johnny, I wish you would do more than just sit under this apple tree all day. Suddenly, an apple dropped from the tree, hitting Johnny on the head, giving him an idea. That gives me an idea. Greeny wants me to get out and do more, and I will. Apple trees give me food, shade, and a home for my animal friends. I'm going to take these seeds and plant apple trees everywhere and share their food, shade, and animals with other people. <laughs> so, Johnny Appleseed traveled all over the country planting apple seeds for many people. Thanks, Johnny Appleseed. Goodbye. Bye. And apple trees grew all over, happily ever after. The end. Oh, that was a wonderful story. <laughs> trees do give us shade and food and a home for animals. That's right, Barney, and they help keep our earth green. Uh-huh. Hey, Lucy, I've got an idea. Come here. Why don't you say this? There was a hole. There was a hole. Middle of the ground, in the middle of the ground, the prettiest hole, the prettiest hole that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And, and the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And in this hole, and in this hole, there was a tree, there was a tree, the prettiest tree, the prettiest tree that you ever did see, that you ever did see. Well, the tree in the hole, in the hole in the ground, and, and the, the green, green grass grows, grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And on this tree, and on this tree, there was a branch. There was a branch, the prettiest branch, the prettiest branch that you ever did see. That you ever did see. Well, the
the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around and on this branch and on this branch there was a nest there was a nest the prettiest nest the prettiest nest that you ever did see that you ever did the nest on the branch in the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around and in this nest and in this nest there was an egg there was an egg the prettiest egg the prettiest egg that you ever did see that you ever did see well the egg in the nest and the nest on the branch in the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and, and the, the green, green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around and in this egg and in this egg there was a bird there was a bird the prettiest bird the prettiest bird that you ever did see that you ever did And the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around, and the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. I think it's time for us to leave, but before we go, why don't we sing our special song here by the tree? Because trees are part of our Earth family too. That's right, Michael. They are. Oh. I love you, you love me We're a happy family With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Again to all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Wasn't it fun learning how to take care of our Earth today? And there are lots of ways you can help protect the world we live in. You can start by keeping your school and house clean and recycling cans, bottles, and newspapers to save the Earth's resources. <laughs> or do plays about how to save water and other things. Oh, and don't forget, we need to take care of our animal friends, too. If we're not careful, some kinds of animals may disappear forever. Ooh. And you can help keep our world green by planting seeds for plants and trees. I'm glad you love and protect our Earth, and remember that I love you, too. <laughs> Imagination? Here's Silly Hat, Silly Hat's Barney. Help me raise the farmer's hat. He inspires kids' imaginations. Old MacDonald had a farm. E Good job. Silly Hat, turn into the bus driver. Sing and dance about that. The wheels on the bus go round Barney round dances and, and sings round for round each hat. Round and round. Firefighter! Silly Hat. Silly Hat's Barney. Look for the family of Barney toys from Fisher Price.